So I came to check out the National Ballpark Museum. Um, it's got like memorabilia, balls, actual uniforms that were worn by players, I believe, as well as uh, employees. And it is from the four oldest ballparks. Um, they each have their own section, which is super cool. I'm gonna show you guys some of it. But and then these are the actual turnstiles that were um, in the stadiums that they have when you enter each one. So cool. Dang. Old. Yeah, out of the, uh, 14 teams, the only, well, 14 stadiums, the only one left are Wrigley and Fenway. It's pretty cool, though. This is awesome. It only cost 10 bucks to come in here. Um, lots of really cool memorabilia. It's right across the street from Chase Field, and they're open three hours before game starts. So I'm hanging out in here until it's time to head over to the game. Look at this. This is so cool. I want to see the Brooklyn Dodgers. Oh, there it is. I see it. We're getting there. This is part of the museum. Oh, awesome. Cool. St. Louis. uniforms. We've got, oh, there it is, the Yankees. This is a turnstile from the actual stadium. This is memorabilia. Look at that. Now I'm going to take you to the best one, guys. Boom. Don Drysdale. Oh, man. I want to touch it so bad, but I'm not going to. Have to come back and take pictures of all this after. Jackie! Oh. 
I know if this one's the Dodgers turnstile. I want to know though, because I want to. This is Polo Grounds over here, so I'm assuming it's not a Dodger turnstile. Maybe they don't have one. So sad. Wrigley. See, like, in order to get in here, I have to walk through the actual turnstile that was at Wrigley Field, so that's pretty cool. Did you have a uh, turnstile from Ebbets? We did not, no. Okay. I was just curious. Um, and then what I do want to show you, which is really cool, so this is an original on deck circle. Oh, wow. And those are original bleachers. I didn't realize they were that big. <laughs> yeah. The, the on deck circle? Yeah. Well, no, they're smaller. They're, they're smaller now, now, but, but yeah, like, that's huge. Yeah. I mean, now they don't even use them, really, but yeah. Yeah. Half the time, they yeah. don't even stand on yeah. them anyways. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that, but this is an original on deck circle. It's freaking huge. Look at that. I'm nowhere near that now. And then an original bench, bleacher. I touched that one. It's cool. Just to say I touched it. Oh, got the Indians. Babe's called shot. This is really cool. So have you guys ever come to a Colorado? This is across the street from Coors Field. You gotta check it out. Ten bucks. Get to walk around in here, check all this great memorabilia out. Um, if I remember correctly, or if I read correctly on the website, this was actually just a guy who was a big fan and then became his personal collection. And it's recognized by the Smith Smithsonian institution it's like the most uh one of the best ballpark museums ever anywhere i believe because it's like mostly dedicated to the ballparks it's not really autograph i mean it does have autograph stuff but there's oh look that's pretty cool It's awesome, like, how close you can get to all this stuff. Mile high practice and field. the Yankees came to play the Bears for fun um, and there's a signed baseball for Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig from 1932. Wow. Yeah. Ruth and Gehrig? Yep. Hence why it's heavy duty on your guard. <laughs> so this, um, if I read correctly, yes. was this the guy who it's named after? Was it his personal collection then he grew it? Yes. So Bruce who's still our curator and yes. So it's his collection and then it got so big in his basement. I joked that his wife wanted to kick her out of it. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so then he opened up this museum and he just keeps adding to it. Wow. Yep. This is incredible. Thank you. It's not usually you see your normal stuff like autographs and it's like, that's, that's cool, why. but this is like stuff you can't see and anywhere that's, else. That's, that's why it's unique as it is. Yeah. Because it is different from, you know, there's, there's no such thing like this. You know, there's a lot of museums and stuff out there and there's a lot of baseball things out there, but nothing that's just dedicated to the ballpark. Yeah, no, and that's what's really cool. All the home plates, the pitching rubber. Were these actual bats? So these are that... replica model bats. Okay. I can show you these. So excuse me. This is a shoe with Joe Jackson's. Oh, is man, that's so heavy. Yeah. How many ounces was this? I'm not sure. 
That's heavy. Because yeah. Ruth's was like one of the heaviest, Ruth's, right? Yeah, and so is Shoeless. And then on the opposite side of things, you have Mickey Mantle's here. Oh, man. Which makes sense, though, because he used his whole, bo his whole body when he swung. So that's why it's going to be a little light. Yeah. It's crazy. And this one's my, my personal favorite player, Jackie Robinson. Je oh. Oh, he had a pretty light bat, too. Yeah, but it's thick. If you feel the hand, feel that, like the handles over here. Oh, yeah, it is. He had really big hands. I'll show you. So these are replicas, correct? Yeah, replica model bats. From, is it like from the actual company that did it? Like that made these bats, like bluegrass? Would they, did they actually make this replica bat? So it's like almost authentic. Almost. They just didn't use them. Yeah. But it was okay. So if they were to order theirs, this is what it would be like. Cause, yeah, because he didn't, Robinson didn't use any of this full slider. And then this is Eddie Matthews. This one is crazy because it's so tiny. <laughs> Especially the end. And I mean, he hit over 500 home runs. That's so short. Like, how did he do that? Wow. It's really cool. Yeah. This one right here? Yeah, where it doesn't have it. And then the one on the farthest one. Oh, it's really tall. Do you know what that is? Is it a fungo? Yeah. Well, it has to. It has to. That's awesome. Yep. It's a replica, but who? So this was so this was from, um, actually, this is from Charlie Metro, who was manager of the Bears um, for a little while. He led them to their first championship, as well as he was also the very first manager of the Kansas City Royals. Okay. Um, this was his fungo bat by huh. 1965. But That's as far as most people have no idea what a fungo bat is. Yeah, I've, I've spent a lot of time around baseball that's in awesome. my life. I actually went to baseball camp as a kid, and that's actually where I heard about a fungo oh, really? bat because yeah, it was at a college, and so they used it there. That's awesome. And then, then this, this was from Bear Stadium, this bat rack. Oh, okay, from Bears. Okay. And then that was an actual home plate from Yankee Stadium. Yeah, this is the final. This is the, if you actually read from this, here's your seat that leads you there. Oh, okay. So this is the final, final home plate, like the final game of home baby stadium. Wow. It's crazy. Sweet. Pretty cool. What? Let me get the name correctly. It is. Yeah. yeah. National Ballpark Museum. Okay, National Ballpark. But it's they they call it Bees National no, Ballpark. That was original. It's called now. The oh, now it's the National Ballpark Museum. Okay. So you do bargaining 